the year has started but you've not already started you are stuck you feel like giving up you feel disappointed in yourself you feel like you've lost your chances to redeem yourself you feel low this video is for you hi guys today we are focusing on five things that we're going to do to be better in 2022 to make ourselves better and to keep our mental health in check thank you so much for clicking on this video kindly subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and like the video and watch till the end to learn all the tips okay it's going to be so educative So getting into it, the number one thing that we you should do, that we should do in 2022 is to reprogram our minds. Let us focus on, you know, having a positive mindset. There is nothing that you cannot do in the right mindset. You cannot give up in the right mindset. You cannot give up in a positive, with a positive mindset, okay? We focus. We plan to focus in 2022, plan to, you know, reprogram your mind every time. Every time you feel a lot of negative energy around you, just sit down yourself, you know, set time for yourself and reprogram your mind. That is so important and that's one of the things that I focus on doing in 2022 to be better. Number two is setting first goals. By this I mean setting short-term goals and giving yourself deadlines. You can achieve a lot when your goals are short-term, you know, weekly, monthly, quarterly. You can achieve that because you've given yourself strict deadlines and you'll keep focused, you'll keep more productive, you'll keep yourself productive. There's that pressure of achieving something within that deadline that you've set for yourself. You know, when you set long-term goals, we, we tend to, you know, divert. We, t we tend to divert our attention from the long-term goals. But when you set short-term goals that will help you achieve that long-term goals, that, that major long-term goal, you'll, keep, you'll be more productive. That's how I feel. That's how I do my thing. Okay? So please, try to incorporate it in your personal life and see how it works for you. The number three thing that I'll be doing and that I think we should all do in 2022 is to practice giving. As awkward as it sounds, giving can change a lot in a person's life. There's so, so much fulfillment with that comes with giving. There's so much joy. There's so much, you know, inner, inner peace that comes with giving. And the more times you give, the more fulfilled you feel. The more healthy your mind feels. You know, even when you don't have anything else to think about, it will, you'll reflect on the giving that you practiced and you'll, you know, it will better your mind. I feel like there's a lot of healthy, it, it, it's so healthy to give and it helps your mind to be healthy and to keep in check, okay? And you see, the more you give, the more you receive. So let us practice giving you know, it, it even helps us to work harder so that we can have more to give. Well, that's my opinion and it works for me every time. So please, this year, kindly find something you can give out, whether it's money, whether it's in kind, you know, give, 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 give. And trust me, you receive a lot of blessings and you'll be more happy and you'll be more fulfilled in 2022. Moving swiftly to number four, spend time alone. Set at least two hours every single day alone. Even though you're an extrovert, even though you're so outgoing, spend time alone. You don't know how much self-awareness you get when you spend time alone. You don't know how much, you know, you get to reflect on your life, you know, on everything that you do when you spend time alone. And make it, you know, don't spend time alone and sleep. Make it intentional. Ask yourself, where am I mentally? Where am I, you know, with my businesses, with my school, at work? How am I doing? You know, make it intentional. Time alone is so important and it works magic. Time alone is where, you know, creativity comes in, comes, you know, it's where businesses are formed. Spend time alone. It's so important, very important. 
And then the fifth and the last thing that I want us to adopt in 2022 is to stop postponing things. You know, the longer you postpone things, you know, the longer the success takes to achieve, to be achieved, I mean. But when you keep on doing things, when you have that idea, that business idea, and you start it right now, you learn from the mistakes as early as you start it. You, you know, adopt new styles of doing it and you'll be successful faster than when you postpone that thing that you want to do. Even to, you know, graduate, you must work and start right now, you know, and start focusing towards, you know, graduating. But when you don't work on anything, when you postpone everything, You'll be lazy, you know, postponing attracts laziness, postponing attracts failure, but we don't want to fail. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you've learned something and thank you so much for watching.